224, okay. It's an industry thriving and barely surviving. More choice than ever, also more problems. Peter runs a microbrewery in Mansfield. He says there's fewer customers now. We have noticed a big change in uh, drinking habits. Uh, a lot of people are like coming out one day instead of they used to come out three days. So, so thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your afternoon, guys. Thank you. At Nottingham's annual beer festival, the forecast is grim for those who make a living in the trade. The pandemic, Ukraine war and cost of living, a potent brew punishing pubs. Right now, the industry is being pounded by rising prices. And a lot of the people here today who work in the trade say that the Chancellor should be doing more to help. In a couple of weeks, the Chancellor will review his economic plan and deliver the autumn statement. 30 pubs closed every week in the first half of the year, according to Camera, the campaign for real ale. There you go, sir. Enjoy. I will. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Andrew is from the Nottingham branch. He's urging the government to cut taxes and revive the industry. I would suggest that he needs to desperately look at the VAT situation. But on top of that, we all have this very unfair um, rating system or a tax that is, takes place on properties. It's so uneven. A Treasury spokesperson said, Whilst one third of businesses don't pay business rates at all due to government tax relief, we recognise the challenges larger pubs and restaurants face, which is why we've slashed their bills by 75%, protected them from rising energy costs and kept the duty on pints down through our Brexit pubs guarantee. In August, the Treasury introduced new rules. The stronger the alcohol, the higher the tax. It should favour people drinking pints in pubs. But Mila, who works behind the bar, says they need even more support. We're a very small pub, you know, it's, you know, my dad's the landlord, so, and we rely a lot on the support of our locals and our regulars, um, but it's getting to the point where maybe that might not be enough anymore. It's a business built on flavour, in an economy leaving only a bad taste. Will Hollis, GB News in Nottingham.